Onares offers many different ways to accept payment from your guests. We integrate with over 20 credit card processors, PayPal, facilitate receiving payment by check, and offer custom options like Venmo and Zelle. For an overview of all the ways you can receive payments, please see our Setup Checklist Payment Processing Overview video. This video will walk you through the steps of setting up payment processing for checks. To access payments, go to Settings, then scroll down to Financial and click on Payment Methods. Click the Connect to Payment Method button, scroll to the bottom of this page, and click Add Check option. This page is where you put info that will be shown to the guest. Enter who the check should be made out to, where to send it, other specific instructions, and which properties this will apply to. Click Save when done. Check will now be listed as an available payment option for guests. When adding a check payment option, you'll want to go to your properties, select the property, then go to Rules, then click Change. Here you'll want to make sure all the settings are correct for accepting checks. For example, in order to take offline payments, the arrival date must be a minimum number of days in the future. The default is 15 days, but if you'd like this to be shorter or longer, you can click in here and change that. If someone tries to book a last minute booking and it's less than 15 days before they arrive, they will need to pay using an immediate method of payment like credit card or Venmo. The reason for this is that you don't want a guest to book last minute, pay by check, then have the check not arrive on time or not clear and risk not getting paid for the stay. In Pending and Auto Cancellation for checks, you can set the booking to auto cancel if payment isn't received within a certain time frame. Onares sends out reminders to both you and the guest during the auto cancel period. It emails every five days and then the day before cancellation. Once you manually record the check payment for the booking, the pending flag goes away. Click Save when you are done with this section. Once you set up all your payment processing options, when your guests make a booking, they will receive a payment form that will have all the options listed. If everything looks good, the guests will check Looks Good Finish Booking. Then the guests will be asked to enter their contact info and sign the renter agreement. After the guest signs and clicks I Accept Select Payment, they will be given the options you've set up for them to make payment. If they select I will send a check in the mail, they will see instructions you provided, where to send the check, and the grace period for when payment needs to be received by you. After they click Continue to Confirmation, they will see a payment summary with next steps, quote information, and a description of the total fees. After clicking Confirm and Finalize Now, they will receive a booking number and further instructions on how to pay by check. In your booking area, you will now see the booking on the calendar. Hover over the booking for info, you can see that zero has been paid yet and the booking is pending because the guests will be paying by check. Click on the booking itself for more detailed information. Here you can see an overview, charges, rules, transactions, and messaging, among others. In overview, it shows the date that the booking is pending until. You can manually change this by clicking on Change Pending Status. In Transactions, you can see the amount received and the remaining balance. In the Payments drop-down menu, you can record any payments received, and send an email receipt. You can also request payment and send a payment reminder as a link or compose an email for your guest. Under Rules, you can change payments, pending and auto cancellation, security deposits, travel insurance, and the cancellation policy. These changes will only affect this booking. Another important tab here is Messages. Here you can see automated messages that will be sent as reminders to your guests. Hover over Will Be Sent to see the dates these emails will be sent out. Click Send Now under the Action drop-down menu. You can see the email that will be sent out and make any changes if you'd like. You can use Onares' reports to see a record of all your payments. You can sort by property, date range, listing sites, payment date, arrival date, departure date, payment type, whether or not it has been deposited, how to group the results, what columns to display, and how to summarize the results, either by total, net total, or fees. You can export this report to your desired format. Please see our other videos for more detailed information about each of our different payment processing options, credit cards, PayPal, and custom options. After you set up your payment options and are ready to continue on to the next step in the setup checklist, be sure to watch our Setup Checklist Connect APIs video. Thanks for choosing Onares.